In his younger years, the conductor had added a cowbell to the hitch of the caboose in a defiant expression of his atypical rhythm. He'd always thought perfect time overrated. Antonio nervously looks back to what is to him a mysterious clanging. Our cowbell, of course. He thought himself alone. The woman holds the boy's balloon. The boy had seemed to laugh for no reason. Expression seemed too familiar, but only in Antonio's nostalgia. Antonio thinks that his years seem to be growing shorter. He hadn't had a chance to meet the boy, but felt like he must. His thoughts return to his faster passing years. He couldn't remember a time he'd laughed for no reason. He'd follow the photographs and return the balloon as the boy must have left it by accident. Antonio thinks about what the boy may have thought about. He must have laughed loudly. Antonio wondered how fast the old man's years must pass. How would he tell the passing hours, or years for that matter? Antonio returns to matters of greater importance. does love to dance, and he dances, and he smiles, but he still couldn't imagine the boy's fascination with mud-caked sticks of the shoreline.
another day done, and in 364, another year. And 365 days ago, the further year would be complete today. His ears did seem to speed up. He knew he could not keep the balloon. The elastic had already begun to lose its tight pull, and it sank slightly lower. And he had not laughed for no reason. Antonio supposes this is how he will grow old. Fast years and laughing only if he had a purpose.